Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The yearly Airbus Innovation Days conference took place in Hamburg, Germany last week, where the European airline manufacturer provided an update of its latest products and plans for the future. Journalist Keith Campbell was in Hamburg for the conference and he joins me now. Welcome Keith. Keith, Airbus indicated that it was unlikely to launch a new airliner design in the near future. Uh, what were their reasons for this? Well, basically, they have got uh, an excellent line already. There is the A320 design, which is the narrow body, the single aisle airliner, uh, has gone through a major revamp, which they call the new engine option, uh, which involved fitting a new generation engines plus aerodynamic refinements and other improvements to the basic design, which have refreshed the design. Uh, for at least the next 15 to 20 years. Uh, they've launched a major project to do the same thing to the A330 uh, twin aisle or wide body airliner, uh, which will have the same effect of refreshing uh, the design. And of course, they have the quite new A380, the Super Jumbo, which is still in production uh, and is uh, set to be in production uh, for many years to come in their, in their view. And the latest airliner, also a wide body, the A350, uh, uh, extra wide body airliner, which is only really uh, entering service uh, now. I mean, there are half a dozen examples flying in commercial revenue generating service at the moment, uh, but deliveries are only really beginning now. Airbus also unveiled a 3D printed unmanned air, air vehicle. Uh, can you tell me more? Well, this is very interesting. Uh, the fact that it's an unmanned air vehicle, of course, is, is, is not particularly exciting and new, but uh, what is, uh, is the combination of 3D printing with the unmanned air vehicle. Now, it's not the first 3D printed unmanned air vehicle in the world, uh, but it's reasonably large. It's about four meters uh, wingspan, about four uh, meter long fuselage. But the purpose is to allow them to rapidly evaluate uh, different aerodynamic concepts with a flying demonstrator so that they can quickly print a new wing, for example. Uh, one hypothetical, and I stress is a hypothetical example I was given by an Airbus uh, executive was, for example, say they wanted uh, to m test uh, a design with, say, six engines, uh, three in each wing, in which you use the engines to help steer the aeroplane. They can now 3D print the necessary wing structure and what have you in a mat and put the, uh, a, a flying demonstrator, a UAV demonstrator, uh, together in a matter of weeks. Whereas previously it would have taken months at least to build even a UAV scale uh, aerodynamic demonstrator. So it uh, rapidly accelerates their ability to undertake subscale flying testbed uh, activities uh, using UAVs. Keith, um, Airbus also sought to reassure customers regarding delivery promises made for 2016. Uh, can you elaborate on this? Well, yes, uh, I mentioned earlier the A320 new engine option, uh, but the, the del uh, deliveries of this aircraft are delayed. Now, the new engine option, uh, there are two engines in option, one from Pratt & Whitney and one from CFM International. And the Pratt & Whitney version was uh, certified first. The CFM version was actually got certification while we were at the briefing last week. Unfortunately, Pratt & Whitney have been having some problems and injury deliveries have been delayed. So uh, a senior airline, uh, Airbus executive was joking that they were building gliders. That is, A320s were coming off the production line, totally finished, except no engines. And they're currently parked at Airbus facilities waiting for the engines to arrive. So th th this is a problem. 
Uh, they want to get these airplanes fitted uh, with engines and delivered, and they're expecting the second half of the year to be pretty busy. Now, the other problem we have is with the A350. Now, this is a really bizarre problem. Nothing wrong with the airplane, no problems with the engines. The problems apparently are with the lavatories. According to the CEO of Airbus, uh, Fabrice Breger, the manufacturer of the lavatories has been delivering uh, lavatory units whose doors do not work, do not fit properly. They either do not close, or if they close, they leave a big gap so there's no privacy for anyone using the lavatory. Obviously, you can't fit these things to the plane. Without lavatories, the planes cannot be delivered. They can't fly, you know. They can't carry passengers. Uh, so this, you know, it is very clear that Airbus is furious. Uh, the Pratt & Whitney have problem with engines, understandable. These are new generation engines, new technology engines. Engines are very complicated. Things happen. But lavatories, for goodness sake. Lavatory doors, for goodness sake. So, um, they are working very hard with the supplier to get this problem dealt with. And as I say, again, they're determined to fulfill the delivery promises for this year. But it's going to be very tight because they promised 50 deliveries this year and they've delivered nine. So they're going to have to get 41 delivered by December 31st. And Breger indicated they were expecting a very busy December indeed. Thank you, Keith. That's the second Psych Show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.